people who are effective communicators, they can sway a room by their words. They can sway people's feelings. They can sway thoughts. They can feel, sway beliefs. They can make you ready and willing to go do something all because of how they communicated to you. Beyond the Ball Podcast. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, ballers? Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Ball Podcast with me, Jonathan Jones. I'm excited to have you here today. And if this is your first time tapping in, this is Beyond the Ball, where we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree, right? So we're talking about stories, strategies, and success to ultimately elevate you and take you to the next stage and the next level in your life, okay? In your life. All right, so today I want to talk about something that I believe each and every athlete can benefit from. And the reason why I say that is because it can help you benefit right where you are right now in your life, even a little bit further down the line, even further than that, right? And the one, the person I want to bring, I want to bring into the room, right? I want to bring into uh, the room hypothetically is Warren Buffett, right? And you might say, John, who is Warren Buffett? Warren Buffett has been in the top 10 richest men uh, in the world, I believe, in the top 10 richest men. Let's just double check that, right? Let's just double check that. Mm -hmm. Rich is Warren Buffett. Let's see. Okay, so Buffett's net worth. Let's just share the screen on this. Okay, so it says Buffett's net worth. Oh. Yep, right here. Here we go. It said... Today, Buffett's net worth is estimated at $132 billion, okay? So that's how rich Warren Buffett is. So if he says something, I would suggest we listen to it, okay? And the reason why I want to say that about Warren Buffett is because Warren Buffett struggled with public speaking. Yeah, yeah, come here. He struggled to talk and communicate to people. So if you struggle to talk and communicate to people and with people, it makes it difficult for them to understand and know what you're really saying. Anyway, so the reason why I want to talk about him is because there's two things that, that, that he shared with us, right? He shared this. The first thing he said, if he said, if you want to instantly increase your net worth, by 50%, he said you need to do two things. He said you need to improve in verbal communication and in written communication. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Let me say it one more time. Verbal communication, the ability to public speak and written communication, the ability to where people understand what you're writing and they can decode the message. Why is this valuable? So let's take a step back. Warren Buffett came to this realization because he took a public speaking course in college. And then he ended up quitting it because he was uncomfortable with it. He didn't like it, wasn't good at it initially. But then he turned back around, invested the $100 in the Dale Carnegie speaking course. And then that challenged him to improve his public speaking. There's a few things we can take away from, I like to call him Uncle Warren, from uh, just this thought, this conversation today. The first one is he invested in learning. Let's not blow past that. Let's slow down to make sure we really get it, right? He invested in learning. Where you are right now in your journey, you might need to invest time. You might need to invest in relationships, so invest in people. You might have the money to invest in your learning and your development, but you want to invest in growing a skill set right here for the purpose of this episode. I suggest you invest in public speaking because people are going to put mics in your face. People are going to ask you questions you may or may not be ready to answer. So therefore, you want to make sure that when that happens, you have the ability to convey a thought clearly to where it's not misunderstood and to where people can't twist it, say you said this, say you said that, all the other stuff, okay? 
So that's that's the first thing. Take time to invest in a skill set. I personally, at this point, I'm probably about upwards of 60K invested in my business. If it's not been coaches for speaking or coaches for book writing or coaches for podcasting or coaches for entrepreneurship, right? So you got to invest somewhere. So pick wisely. The second thing is improving our public speaking. Okay, so the first one was just investing in a skill set. The second one is improve public speaking. Why? Because this can be the difference in you getting paid significantly more or significantly less. What's going on, ballers? You might be listening to this audio version of the podcast, or you might be watching even the video version of the podcast, and you're probably thinking, well, what would it take for John to come to our campus? What would it take for John to come to our school and to teach our students media training, to talk about podcasting, and even the whole world of media? Well, luckily for you, all you have to do, friend, is just click the link just down below in the show notes where it says, book John to speak, all right? And then we can go right there. We can set up time to have a conversation. And I would love to learn more about you. Love to learn more about your student athletes and how we can serve and support them at a high level. Okay, so just hit the link just down below. And we look forward to having a conversation with you. People who are effective communicators, they can sway a room by their words. They can sway people's feelings. They can sway thoughts. They can feel, sway beliefs. They can make you ready and willing to go do something all because of how they communicated to you. Yeah. So imagine, imagine if you wanted to potentially uh, get a group together to protest something. If you weren't clear in what you're communicating, you're not going to get many to follow you for an extended period of time, right? Because they're going to be looking to the leader, going to be looking to uh, the, 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 the point person. They're going to be looking to somebody to give them direction, to give them guidance. What's the mission? How are we doing it? How are we going to go about it? What does that look like next week? What does it look like next month? And if we can't clearly convey steps, goals, checkpoints, it's not going to put us in a good spot. And then think about whatever it is. Think about whatever your favorite, whatever your favorite brand is. Right, Nike, Reebok, Pizza Hut, Papa John's, Coke, Pepsi, whoever. And think, think. If you watch the commercial and this particular brand, you didn't even, you weren't familiar with just yet, right? But then there was somebody up there who was kind of mumbling or kind of talking like this and not really talking that loud. So you couldn't really hear what they were saying. Would that sway you to want to do business or even be a patron of that company's business no no it wouldn't and no you wouldn't so let's think about that I and mean, let's take it one step further let's take it one step further improving written communication the best way to continue your legacy or to create a legacy it's by putting something on paper. One more time. The best way to convey a message and to have it repeated over and over and read later and later and people talking about it later and later. Put it on paper. Write a book. Write a blog, write an article. The Bible says write the vision and make it plain. So what do we what do we take from this, John? The first thing is identify a skill set that you want to further. I suggest it speaking. Right? Take five minutes a day, ten minutes a day, just to practice. Give yourself an idea, give yourself a couple of points that you want to cover, and then just roll with it. 
start with five minutes, then the next day do 10 minutes, then increase gradually, right? The second thing, right? Because the first one, invest in a skill set. The second one, if it wasn't public speaking, hey, hey, make it public speaking, okay? Make it public speaking, right? Because the first one is just invest. The second one, make it public speaking. Public speaking is the fastest way for you to command a significant amount of income out of thin air. You can tell people that you're an expert in X category and they can say, well, can you talk to my group talking about X? And you can go and do the research and then come back and then share on that topic. I'm not suggesting that you do that, but I'm just saying you could, okay? And then lastly, 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 um, improve your writing. Improve your writing. That's it. I mean, we have to get to the point to where we understand um, that if we don't improve our writing and we don't improve the ability to communicate in the written word, we're going to miss out on the opportunity to increase our net worth by 50%, according to Uncle Warren. And that's what Uncle Warren says. And he's, we saw it. He, net worth is estimated at $132 billion. So he might know what he's talking about. Just, just maybe, a little bit. But family, man, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. <clears throat> this is Jonathan Jones. And this has been another episode of Beyond the Ball, where we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. All right? And I really want you to succeed. That's why I do these episodes. That's why I talk about the topics that I specifically talk about. Because I know that there's value in the things that I'm sharing and the topics that I pull from here, from here, from here. So apply the information. Apply the information. Because at the end of the day, if you apply the information, the worst that can happen is you say, I don't like that or I don't want to do that again. But you still got the experience of trying it. But family, until next time, this is Jonathan Jones, and this is Beyond the Ball, where we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree.